Greetings out there. I'm Patrick Mike with Pure and the Black Irish Band, and it's been a while since I did a podcast, but since we have so many new fans there from Australia and also from Ireland, I wanted to, to kind of give you a little background of the band. A lot of you are confused because you know we do a lot of Celtic music, and we've been doing it for almost 35 years. Uh, our biggest influences when we started the band was, of course, the Clancy Brothers and then the uh, Irish Rovers and Dubliners. But at the same time, as a songwriter, principal songwriter in the band, I've always tried to include my history of growing up and the people that have influenced me. That's why I wrote the ballad of John Muir, who was from Scotland, who came to California. Uh, also, I do a lot of introspective songs, which is the next song that we're going to discuss as the uh, Ghost Songwriter podcast. Um, I thought it was time that we address the song Huntington Beach. Okay, for all of you, especially in Australia and Ireland, you probably don't know much about Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach is actually located in Southern California. And my connection to Huntington Beach is I grew up in Hawthorne, which is located in LA County. That's uh, kind of where I was born. And we lived there in my early stages. Then we moved to uh, around North Long Beach, Lakewood area. And, uh, but as a boy, a lot of my friends were into surfing at high school. And so, we spent a lot of time at Huntington Beach, as well as Seal Beach, California, and I tried to learn to surf. We'd go out every day. This is like 16, 17 years old, high school, and surf. A few times I'd stand, get up, and all that, but a lot of times I remember every time we took out the surfboards, I'd end up on a boogie board just because my balance wasn't so great. I'm much better as a snow skier, let's put it that way. But the time influenced me, and... Uh, Years later, 30 years later, I went back to Huntington Beach. I think it was um, right after maybe a high school reunion. I remember it was a cloudy day and uh, it was raining and cold and there was nobody on the beach. I walked down to the Huntington Beach Pier, by the way, which is located Orange County, California, and there was nobody there. It was deserted. And then I'll, I kind of got sad for a moment because I remember being young. I remember being out there, the beautiful girls, the long blonde hair. You could smell the tanning oil. And there they were. You're a young 16, 17 year old and you're so much a part of the scene. You know, the, the salt water, you know, you could taste it every time you got clocked by a wave. And so years later, juxtaposition of it is it's all gone. You know, I'm an older man now. And there was nobody on the beach, which kind of inspired this song. It is not your typical Black Irish band song, and it's not a Celtic song. I actually wrote it as a surf song, but a reflection of my youth and childhood. Now, the, uh, the chord progression and the, the storyline is very much surf-oriented. And when we recorded this song, um, members of the Black Irish band kind of set to the side as I invited a group into the group called Crazy Ivan, which is a local group from uh, up in Tuolumne County, where I ended up moving to. And there was a group there, um, they played a three-person rock band read by, uh, led by a gentleman, uh, the late Greg Knowles. And he actually played the solo on the recording. And so they kind of backed me on this song. Now, originally, Huntington Beach, I wasn't going to sing. I actually wanted Al Jardine to sing it of the Beach Boys, because I thought it'd be a perfect song, because Al's very much into California history and being a member, original member of the Beach Boys, I thought he'd be perfect for the song. But unfortunately, the way it worked out is Al couldn't sing it. Uh, I don't know what the reason was, but he gave it to his son, Matt Jardine. Now, Matt tours with Brian Wilson in the current Brian Wilson band and does a lot of those great falsettos. Um, after Jeff Fawcett passed on and Matt kind of took over. And I did talk to Matt um, a few years ago, it was back in Morrow, Morrow Rock, Morrow Bay, California, we talked a little bit. and uh, But I gave it to him, but unfortunately the key that I wrote it recorded in, by the time we sent it to Matt Jardine, um, it didn't work for his voice. And it was difficult to justify, since we're on a shoestring budget, now mind you, <laughs> um, we couldn't really change the key. So I auditioned some other friends of mine who had younger voices to sing it possibly, more from a youth point, but we couldn't really find anybody, so I, ended up singing it. So that's the story behind it. I wish Al Jardine could sing it. I think it'd be perfect as voice, but you know, I sing it. And it's actually about my local, my history as a boy. Remembering back to all my childhood friends, trying to out there in the surf and the saltwater Pacific Ocean. And uh, it's not your typical black Irish song. And that's okay, because 
you know we're an eclectic band. We don't do just Irish music. We do a little bit of everything, but I think the reflective music is important too because it says who we are, you know? So anyways, enough of that. Let's do Huntington Beach, shall we? <laughs> Summer air. Back then I took my board and served through the day and watched the world go by there, riding on a wave. I can see it, I still feel it. Taste the salt in the summer weather. For a moment, life was daring. All the dreams of youth were sharing Doesn't matter if you dream Or live in the past I miss my days of youth Wish that they could last Long ago we couldn't wait Till the month of June Grabbed a car and took a drive Every afternoon Breezes run and surf the warmth of the sun. Looking at the pretty girls and having so much fun. I can see it, I still feel it. Taste the surf and the summer weather. For a moment, life was daring. All the dreams of you were sharing. It's time you grab a board. Surf through the day and watch this crazy world riding on. dedicate that song to Brian Wilson. I just know that he lost his, his beautiful wife. And Brian Wilson is a treasure, you know. He, uh, he's from Hawthorne too, so that's one thing we have in common. What a great songwriter from America, you know. He wrote a lot about our youth and about what that whole scene was in Southern California. And in my song, I'm only just capturing my youth, my time in life. But I did borrow from Brian Wilson the thought pattern of it. You know, I think The Warmth of the Sun is probably the most beautiful song that was ever written in time. And I always said to myself, if I have a funeral, that I would want that played because it really uh, touched my heart. So I'd like to dedicate that to Brian Wilson. So anyways, as a ghost songwriter podcaster, I hope you enjoy this. And I'll try to be more more out there and get these there's a lot of music we haven't even covered yet and the black irish band is still going strong uh, michael mullins joined the group a couple years ago he's an awesome fiddler james dean nelson he's still playing in there and we got a new member on board so we probably be back as a five member group uh, we have enough material to record at least two to three more albums a lot of original stuff it's just you know a question of everybody's time to get in the studio but, you know, for a bunch of older guys, we're still hanging in there. So, anyways, thank you for watching our uh, Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. I know we have all these new listeners from Ireland, especially Australia. So, I know Californians and Australians have a lot in common. I found out we have all that surf around us at some places. So, I'm going to go back to my uh, crazy weather here in Humboldt County on the ocean in Shelter Cove. And uh, probably spend some time walking on the beach and getting inspired again. So, anyways... Patrick Mike McKernahan, Black Irish Band, thank you for staying tuned for this little podcast about reflection of youth and Brian Wilson, the Beach Boys, and the influence of that music. We'll see you later. All right. God bless. Or an Irish, you say, go now you're in Bye, lass.